story, and investigative reporter Larry Barker has just returned from Santa Fe, where he sat down with the Park Service, and in, this is their first official response to what all of New Mexico has been talking about, the disaster that started with a prescribed burn and turned into an inferno in Los Alamos. Diana Nelson, Karen Wade is the Intermountain Regional Director for the Park Service. Now, just a few hours ago, she arrived in Santa Fe to assess the Park Service's role in the fire. And in a wide-ranging and remarkably candid interview, she told me about Roy Weaver, and she took responsibility for the fire. Effective today, uh, Roy Weaver will be placed on administrative leave pending a thorough and complete investigation of this matter. Uh, he will be replaced uh, temporarily by the superintendent of Chiricahua National Park, Alan Cox. Alan is en route at, as we speak and should be here within the next two hours to uh, take charge of, of the park. And why was this action taken today? We feel it's important for the public to have complete confidence in the investigation. And uh, we believe that in order to do that, it's important for uh, Roy to be out of the picture while this investigation is underway. What, what are your thoughts today as you come into New Mexico and, and see this fire? It's very much a catastrophe for all of us. I served for over 10 years as a superintendent of four different parks, and I can say unequivocally that this is one of the worst nightmares you could ever have. Um, I went through the death, the shooting death of a ranger a year ago, and I have a great deal of empathy for what uh, the community is feeling and uh, clearly for what this staff is feeling. From the bottom of our hearts, we regret what has been a horrific outcome. And we sincerely hope and pray with uh, every ounce of our beings that there is no loss of life. And we send out our most heartfelt apologies and our most heartfelt thoughts for all those people who have been so dramatically and drastically affected. I'm sure you've had an opportunity to talk to Roy Weaver. What is he feeling today? Roy Weaver is a veteran of the National Park Service. He has served brilliantly as a superintendent of Bandelier National Park. And I don't believe he could have imagined a worse ending to uh, his professional career. Um, I hope it's not the end of his professional career and, uh, and that uh, when the review is finalized, we'll learn um, more about that. But in the meantime, he's in deep anguish and shock. And uh, my heart goes out to him and to the staff. Inside the Park Service, who will do this investigation? This uh, investigation will be led uh, probably by a sister agency with, within Interior. Um, I don't know all the details associated with that, but I do know that an investigative team is being mobilized at this moment and should arrive shortly. Uh, we expect them to be on site directly. I would believe that would be tomorrow. Some of our congressional representatives, uh, senators, today have called for a Senate investigation of the prescribed burn and a GAO investigation. Your reaction? I believe that's totally appropriate to be investigating this thoroughly. I believe that uh, it's a uh, very important thing to uh, know in great detail because we, uh, of course, believe that we've got to avoid catastrophic fire by doing prescribed burns. And um, this program, of course, is an important tool. Uh, if there are flaws in the, 
in the tool, we need to be able to find out what those flaws are and correct them so this never happens again. Uh, as you know, um, uh, fire is, as a tool, uh, sometimes is risky business. And this is not the first prescribed fire in the country that has escaped. Um, we need to minimize those risks. I want to give you an opportunity to say what, what you would like to say to the people of New Mexico. I want to give you that opportunity. What I would like to say to the people of New Mexico uh, is that we are responsible for um, what has occurred. We don't know why it occurred. We expect a thorough investigation to indicate that and the buck stops with us. We very much appreciate the cooperation and support that we are getting in trying to put this fire out as quickly as possible before it does more damage. I am grateful, grateful to everyone that's involved in that. And I truly, my heart hurts for everyone tonight that has suffered a significant loss. And I wish we could turn back the clock uh, but we can't. I've done a lot of interviews in my yes, career. And frankly, really, I, I was quite impressed with uh, Director Wade. Her, not, her honesty and her heartfelt comments, I think, will go a long way and probably will surprise quite a few folks. You, you kind of have a read for people because you have interviewed so many people over the years, and, and she certainly seems sincere and just uh, like she was agonizing over what had happened. And I think she kind of capsulized what uh, a lot of people are feeling, although they're resentful of the prescribed burn as such, but uh, Roy Weaver, uh, you know, he's, uh, you can't, uh, you can't really... Well, they're uh, investigating him, but he has not been blamed per se for this fire. It's an investigation to see what happened and what could have been done differently. But this is a veteran uh, Park Service, 33 years, 10 at Vandalier. I know he probably knows many of the people in Los Alamos and has worked with them, and so I can imagine how he feels, too. Sure, and, and the investigation is not on Roy Weaver. He is taking the responsibility for the decision to have this very small 30-acre controlled burn so he will be, his decision will actually be the focus of, of, the, investigation. of the investigation and how it got out of control. And, and, and I just want to add, I, 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 did, I went up to Santa Fe today thinking that we were going to have a confrontation with the Park Service over this mm -hmm. because, frankly, they have not made any public statements since the fire got out of control somewhere around 4 o'clock on Sunday. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but when I showed up in their offices, uh, they... Uh, they were very willing to sit down and uh, be very candid with us, so I think uh, they deserve a lot of credit for that. They didn't uh, shut the door in your face like we've seen so many people do. No, they do. didn't <laughs> shut the door and they didn't run away. So they, right. they, they confronted it, they knew they had a problem. And a and sincere response. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. you Thank bet. you, Larry. That Thank was very you, interesting. We continue the coverage of the Cerro, Gordo, the Cerro Grande fire up in Los Alamos, as well as other fires that are just sparking up everywhere, as well as the generosity that New Mexicans are showing when we come back.